Hi, I'm Tim. I'm Lizzie. And we are To Play. Or Not. To Play, a show about board games for two players. Whose tastes might differ. Mm. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my secret shelf by shelf um, collection explanation and, and go through. Um, again, Bear's gone out. She's out walking the dog at the moment. Um, so I'll do a quick... Uh, shelf here so we do number one here so we've done the top shelf we do shelf number one so straight into it obviously you can see this is mostly uh, Carcassonne 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 yeah whatever um, but just above that we've got a couple of little things so this is um, this is silver and gold um, so this is a great little roll and write in fact it's a flip and write it's not a roll and write um, so it's a set of cards basically um, a set of cards that you flip over a uh, sort of master card that tells you a, a position that you're trying to uh, uh, to fit into your grid on your set of cards that you've got um, and you're trying to mark off hidden treasures and stuff like that um, really nice quick little um, roll them right but flip them right um works really well with the the dry white marker um on the boards as well the little cards it's literally a pack of cards um phil walker harding again so a uh, really good designer um really elegant little game it lasts literally it says 20 minutes i don't know if it's that long to be fair you'll probably play a few games of it um so that's that one um i decided i'm going to get these games out as i talk about them because it seemed a bit kind of dead without actually getting them out. Uh, on top here is actually this is a little dice um, tray that I made out of a picture frame. Um, I tend not to use this too much now because I made myself a little gaming table so you don't lose the dice too much but that's just a little dice tray. And then on top here we have Carcassonne Star Wars. Um, <laughs> now the thing with Carcassonne I love the game. I love the tile laying and getting all the tiles out on the board laying your men down on it claiming the land and so on. But what I don't get about Carcassonne's kind of spin-offs is Carcassonne is a town in France. It's like a medieval, I don't know if you've ever been there, it's a medieval town, kind of like a big fantasy thing. It was made specifically um, with this kind of fantasy sort of feel to it. Um, so games about Carcassonne I get because it's Carcassonne. But when you've got Carcassonne Star Wars... <laughs> I mean, the idea is that obviously it's Carcassonne mechanic with a Star Wars theme pasted on top. Um, I've actually not played this, so I don't know if it's any good. I mean, it's a great looking little thing and it's got different things in it than you would have in a normal Carcassonne game because it's not necessarily just about the farmers and so on. Um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure if I get this kind of Carcassonne. There's a series around the world, so there's Carcassonne, the uh, Amazonians and something like that. It's, it's weird. I, don't, I mean, I get this, the mechanic, but, you know, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to probably buy them all anyway. Um, we've got the big box up here, which has got a few of the um, expansions in. Um, five base, five uh, expansions in that box, along with the base game. Um, but this is uh, this is my Carcassonne small box shelf. Um, so, Star Wars edition, not played it. And then next to that we've got, or underneath that rather, <coughs> it's another kind of spin-off one, Carcassonne Gold Rush. This is part of the Around the World series. So again... I like this game. Uh, I played it. It's it's different. You get sort of gold mines in it and things like that. It's not Carcassonne, you know. It's a Carcassonne game mechanic, but it's not Carcassonne. So weird. But uh, yeah, what are you going to do? Call it a different name? I don't know. But anyway, so this works well. Gold Rush. I'm only going to just call it Gold Rush. You know, who knows? We we get that it's that mechanic, wouldn't we? You know. So, <laughs> but anyway, good game. I like this one a lot. Um, I don't think I've played this with Bear actually yet, so she's not sure whether she likes it because she hasn't played it. Um, she likes the Carcassons that we have played, so I'm sure she would like this. But again, there's that slight, who knows, because there are some things in it that are different to the actual normal game. Um, you set up camp and so on in this one. Um, but yeah, nice little game. I would recommend this one as part of the, part of the Carcassonne family, for sure. Then we've got Carcassonne Winter Edition. So... This is this has also got an expansion in it. It's called the Gingerbread Man expansion. If it didn't have the Gingerbread Man expansion, this would pretty much be just Carcassonne, but with a snowy theme sort of uh, pasted on it. Uh, it's got sort of extra tiles in this um, because of the 
sort of wintry theme trying to make it a little bit different um so it's got some slightly different um uh features in it than the original game but not many and uh, it's mainly the gingerbread man which i can't remember what he does to be fair um it does some sort of movement thing um again really nice it's nice to play this kind of at christmas rather than the sort of summery um feeling that you get from carcassonne when you play that um so this this is kind of and in fact the little the little gingerbread man has a christmas hat on so i guess that's what they were kind of aiming for this is kind of a and it's called winter edition so why not you know play it in the winter but again really nice little game really the same sort of thing as you'd be used to if you played carcassonne um but i recommend this one nice 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 and then we've got uh, these are kind of two of my favorite versions of carcassonne if you like so this is the castle now in the castle um the game starts you've got kind of um wow that's upside down that's gonna do me that's gonna do my head in uh, <laughs> um so you've got this kind of surround around the outside of the the, the city of carcassonne in, in this one and you have to populate within the surround and then the surround acts as a, as a score track you don't get a separate score track um so that's a really nice um way of playing the game and this surround obviously makes you kind of work within a, a parameter you don't kind of spread off the edge of the table a lot of that happens when you're playing carcassonne you sort of get to the edge and you have to kind of shuffle it along that doesn't happen in this because you lay the table out ready you know the, the surround um and it's got different things like roofs and chimneys and stuff like that so again slightly different mechanic different way that it plays but it's a really nice version of the game um so it is different to the original carcassonne but it's got this nice kind of mechanic and it's it's a set space that you're filling in really really nice bear and i both like this one a lot and we do take this one away on holiday with us because again you know the space that it's going to take up really really like this one this is uh for two players by the way this is a specifically is it specifically for two players yeah this is a specifically a two-player carcassonne game so again that's why we like it and then finally on this shelf another carcassonne and this is a two to four again back to the normal sort of thing this is carcassonne the city and again we love this and this is slightly different again similar sort of vibe to that carcassonne um uh, the castle whereby you get a surround for the actual carcassonne town um and and you build the surrounds and get points for building the surrounds and also putting little towers along the surrounds and putting your men on the towers a bit like when you put the men on the roads and stuff like that and so you get these wooden blocks for the walls and little wooden towers really really nice aesthetically and it looks great on the table it's not set up like the castle all around before you start you literally set it up as you go and you kind of think oh i'm going to lay a, a castle around and a wall around this and you get points for doing that and getting links between towers and stuff like that it's really 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 nice little version of the game and again brings something completely different to the feel of a normal carcassonne game but it plays in exactly the same way apart from these edges kind of thing um really really like this version again bear loves this version so that's our two kind of favorite versions of this game really is the city and the castle apart from the standard game which is great and also the christmas one you know the winter edition I don't know we're gonna play some of these other ones i think we'll have to get some of these we've not got them uh the ones you know from the around the world series i'm sure we'll like those but we've just not got the time to get them yet so all the money for that matter um covid <laughs> um so anyway that's uh that's the last one of that shelf carcass on the city um hopefully you enjoyed that little square that little cube and uh next we'll be going on to this one so don't forget to tune in for that one and i'm sure bear will be back in a second with trooper dog so i'll finish off here thanks for tuning in for this one guys and we'll see you on the next secret shelf review okay thanks bye